This is Twit. Microsoft revealed a new Internet Explorer flaw of the weekend. The zero-day vulnerability affects more than half the web browsers currently in use worldwide. Eric Hesseldahl is a senior editor for Recode specializing in enterprise computing, and he joins us here today. Welcome, Eric. Hey, guys. So can, can you tell us more about what kinds of attacks that this vulnerability makes possible? Yeah, it's classic kind of a drive-by situation. Um, and when you say it affects more than half of the browsers, it, technically speaking, it affects about 56%, and that's Internet Explorer version 6 through 11, but most of the attacks are really taking place in uh, IE 9 through 11. So um, also, by the way, the interesting footnote, this is the first uh, first major ex uh, vulnerability that's going to affect uh, Windows XP that's no longer no longer supported by Microsoft. So there may be some interesting uh, interesting follow-ons to that. But, but basically, it's a zero-day vulnerability, and uh, they're not quite sure how they're going to fix, uh, fix it yet. Um, FireEye is also saying that it is being the, the attacks are being carried out by a, an advanced persistent threat gang that it has seen before. Uh, doesn't know very much about it, but uh, uh, so there's a, there's a lot a lot going on with this one vulnerability. So just to be clear, uh, Microsoft is basically saying that if you've got Windows XP and you have Internet Explorer, you're out of luck. We're not going to do anything about it. Is that right? Uh, specifically to XP and on also those older versions, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Now, if you're on a, a newer version of Windows, uh, then you are supported. Uh, the other thing is that they're saying is that uh, if you use some of the default security options that are set up in, uh, in Internet Explorer from 9 through 11, I believe it is, uh, you should be okay. Uh, this vulnerability, the, some of the default security options are... Uh, uh, that are uh, turned on uh, by default, you should be okay. Wonderful. So, now Eric, is, I was, I'm wondering, is FireEye actually, did they, did they do this as part of Microsoft's bug bounty hunter program? And if so, I'm wondering if they got compensated, um, you know, since XP is, is no longer being supported. Uh, well, no, I don't think, if it's not supported, I don't think uh, unsupported software would be part of the bug bounty program. And I don't think FireEye was the one that actually dis uh, dif uh, discovered this. Uh, Microsoft was the one, I think, that first came out with the disclosure. Uh, but FireEye is one of the leading security research firms. Uh, they're also the ones that you called, they bought Mandiant not so long ago. And Mandiant was the one that basically popularized this phrase, advanced persistent threat. And they uh, they did so with the, with the infamous report about the... Uh, the unit of the uh, China's People's Liberation Army that's basically the, the hacking cyber war unit of the Chinese, uh, China's army. And so um, that's where that advanced persistent threat uh, phrase comes from. It basically means it's a, it's a gang of determined uh, attackers, maybe state-sponsored, maybe not, maybe organized crime, we don't know, um, who uh, specialize in very sophisticated attacks, uh, usually multi-threaded attacks that will basically get at one part of your system and then come at you another different way and 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 basically use these these escalating series of attacks to get what the ultimate target actually is. Now Eric this uh, the 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 attacks originate uh, or you know in Adobe Flash is that correct and uh, isn't Flash implicated in a in just way too many <laughs> security vulnerabilities <laughs> these days? It it is apparently it's a it's a it's a variation on a well understood technique and uh, my understanding is that there's nothing in this about the vulnerability that Adobe, which is the company that makes Flash, can actually do. I think it has more to do with, um, and this is where this is where my understanding of how these things work actually begins to fall down the wayside. But uh, but I think it, it has to do with the way that it, uh, Internet Explorer actually inter interacts with with Flash. And so best thing to do, and I've got a story up on the site since yesterday about this, um, is to click through to uh, Microsoft Security uh, Advisory and uh, read it because it gives some very detailed instructions on what you need to enable, what you can disable. Um, also, there's a, a FireEye has an interesting post up on it that I have a link to as well. And then one that I didn't get that came out later, um, which I may go back and add in, uh, there's a, a, a down to the uh, clicks uh, instructions from uh, Sophos Security on their Naked Security blog on uh, what you can do to, uh, to make yourself uh, basically uh, resistant to this to this attack. Fantastic. Well, Eric Hesseldahl, I want to thank you for coming on Tech News today to explain this latest vulnerability. All right. Be well.
Thank you. You can find Eric Hesseldahl at Recode.net, of course, and also on Twitter at A-H-E-S-S-247.